Adama, a new equity for Detroit, is an alternative community development project for the near east side of Detroit, an area of approximately two and a half square miles that begins half a mile northwest of the downtown. Upon one of the most incriminating places of decay and abandonment of American cities, Adama prescribes the regeneration of land and self-sufficiency of inhabitants through the remedial process of urban agriculture. Started on the of the Bloody Run Creek that connects the Detroit River to its northwest corner, the plan is to turn the area's vast, open, and idle land into productive, educational, and job-creating spaces by turning them into farming, grazing, and recreational spaces. By depositing these public spaces into community-owned and governed land trusts, a new and shared equity for the economic development of the area will emerge. Believing that true globalism is a collection of thriving localisms, Adama articulates a participatory and democratic community as the source and product of decentralized education, labor, housing, economy, culture, and politics that will stem from the practice of realization of urban ecology. A plan for Adama in 2010 has begun, and its state in 2075 will soon follow. The project was divided among the six students that participated in the studio. The first area of focus dealt with the farming, irrigation, and building revitalization. Using tulip farming, a heart of the agricultural community is formed. This creates focus and gives a sense of spirit to the area where people can enjoy this nature with the adjacent park. In order to provide these fields with sufficient water, an irrigation filtration system is being proposed where storm water from the site is naturally cleaned by a wetland canal process. Another element to this project is the Bloody Run Creek Parkway. This is an effort to restore the land to its natural condition, and thus recreating areas of interest for agricultural, commercial, and recreational purposes. A path could be created along the unearthed creek to allow for a unique Detroit pedestrian experience. This path could be utilized by the children attending the Frederick Douglass School as an alternative to walking aside the busy streets. In reusing existing structures, the Shane Market calls for special attention. Here is an opportunity to utilize a building for its initial intent as a market. Currently, it functions as a recycling center. The idea here is to create a pedestrian street in front of the market to allow for street vendors to set up shop during special events. This cooperative market center could help encourage commercial and residential development within this area. These images show Shane Market as it exists then modified with a conceptual sketch, and then rendered depicting how it could function as a public space for shopping and gathering. The next area consists of two different concepts toward community living. The first, more traditional, consists of separate houses and lots with individual gardens and greenhouses. The second, more alternative community is cooperatively shared by all in the community with shared housing and gardens. Starting with the independent community, the land would be owned by the individuals living on it. Each house would have its own small garden plot that would be fenced in. Where vacant land permits, vertical strips of cornfields could occur in order to produce ethanol as an alternative energy source. Here we can see the existing housings with fenced yards. Next, we envision this area with backyard gardens and private greenhouses. The alleyways are converted for use as pedestrian paths. The shared community is an alternative way that a group of people may choose to live. Here, services such as childcare, meals, building and repairing, farming and teaching are done by the community as a whole to benefit one another without direct exchange of currency. This community is proposed with limited automobile access as to encourage a smaller scale pedestrian life. 
As a central access to the community, a canal could offer irrigation and recreation. This image shows the existing conditions. Then, with the student's proposal for the central canal passing through the community, this canal would offer a source of water for the farming as well as a pleasant place to walk along while going from one place to another. The relocation of housing could also help define open spaces from strong community blocks. The third area of interest focuses on the Packard plant. The proposal here is to transform the plant into a three-dimensional city where all of the residents in the area would live within the loft apartments. This would then free all the land to the east of the plant for farming. This would create a distinguished corner to Adama as a whole. Another way to help identify this area is to create an air filtration barrier. This barrier would run along the north and west edges adjacent to the highways. Another element here is to create a zone of windmills, helping to make Adama self-sufficient. Here we can see an image of the highway as it exists. Next is a proposed sketch for the filtration system. Lastly is a rendering of that system built from telephone poles removed from having Adama going completely to a cellular system. This framework would then support an all-year-round IV that would help buffer the noise and filter the air from the highways. This would also add a sense of entry when crossing the green barrier. The last major element in this community is the water filtration system. It begins in the north part of the site and runs downhill. The wetland canal zigzag where space allows in efforts to increase plant to water contact and to slow the flow of the canals. By the time the water reaches the south end of the community, the water can be directly used for some gray water applications or processed and used for potable water. Here is where both the residents and any industry such as shrimp farming could collect the water they need. After Packard City has used the water, it could be pumped back to the top of the system to go through the process again. The fourth area utilizes tree farming as the main economic and land rehabilitation system. The tree farms are proposed to be laid out similar to the old French farms in efforts to highlight the area's history. The backyards of the homes would be shared organic farm fields, where water from the northern parts of the site, including the Cadillac plant, would be supplying the water needed. Due to the lack of personal backyards, common recreational spaces would be created. Another concept this area illustrates is of a new school system. A system composed of three levels, a single core located at the Frederick Douglass School, local school houses with one on each block illustrated in red, and lastly, learning centers located at all the major elements of Adama, such as the Packard Plant and Eastern Market. This image shows the existing industrial corridor with the unused railroad and empty lots. The proposal shows the tree farm with the reinitiated rail line used to transport the lumber from the sawmill to the marketplace. This photo shows the existing condition of vacant buildings and empty lots. With the efforts of relocating houses and renovating schoolhouses, the community can help define a strong boundary. Then, where space remains, public playgrounds can be created. The next area of interest dealt with both the farming and selling of products made. Within the area of Eastern Market, an effort to both grow and sell locally produced goods is emphasized. An apple orchard to the east of the market is proposed where people can pick their own apples, making the field an activity for everyone. 
in efforts to both increase the flow of people in the area and to be able to move products in and out of the area, it is proposed to reanimate the train line, taking existing structures to recreate a rail station where the street grid, train tracks, and proposed extension to the people mover could all intersect. A work community is proposed in the area just east of Eastern Market. Here is where craftsmen could live, work, and sell their products. This could create a new tradition as this area would also become part of the learning center system where children could learn the arts and crafts. Just south of Gratia, an area that specializes in botanical research creating new hybrids is proposed. This area would create an access of life where it would also function as a learning center. The next element of interest is near Heidelberg Street. The proposal is to mix art and cattle. Several small ranches are proposed for dairy cattle so as to provide milk to the rest of the community. In this way, the community would be tied to the land. The last area of interest deal with the northwest corner and center of Adama. Proposed in the northwest corner is to transform vacated manufacturing buildings into a technology center as well as a shopping district for moderate income people. Just north, an idea of transforming the existing incinerator into an air filter where smog filled air is taken in and pumped through greenhouse tubes. As another alternative to the incinerator, a system of alternative sources of power production is proposed, incorporating windmills with an ethanol refinery. Proposed in the center of Adama is the Ring of Life, which is used as an organizational device. The ring is a tube greenhouse that allows for year-round growing and year-round pedestrian paths. In the center of the circle would be a learning center specializing on Project Adama. This smaller central circle could be the seed that precedes the larger ring of life. Here is a project by several students of a previous studio. This illustrates how young sapling trees can be bent and tied together to form a structure that over time will grow stronger and be able to be used as a greenhouse. This image illustrates how the Ring of Life would give a space for year-round growing and a pedestrian path. The ring also helps separate the farming fields on the outside of the ring from the grazing animals on the inside. In conclusion, Adama, meaning of the earth, is a project meant to inspire the local community, to help realize that solid growth of an area does not come from casinos or stadiums, but rather that it comes from the people of the city investing time and care in themselves, to dream what we want and to make it happen. <laughs>